I have this Harbor Freight sharpener that's made for sharpening circular blades for table saws and chop saws and things like that. I have these big bandsaw blades that I use in my big bandsaw and uh, I found that I'm not very good at sharpening them by hand. Uh, I sharpen my small bandsaw blades with a Dremel uh, and I find that goes fairly quickly and easily but for some reason it doesn't work well on these big bandsaw blades uh, with big teeth on them. So I'm going to try to jig this one so I can do it here, maybe a little more accurately. First thing I'm going to do is get all these things out of my way that I can't use. Now I have to make some sort of platform that will serve the blade to the rotating diamond disc. The blade has to hit this wheel at a perfect tangent, which would be about 13 and a half centimeters high. This doohickey indexes the blade. We have to move it out of our way. We have to make a cutout over here just so that the cutting wheel can move close enough to our guide to engage the blade. Now we have to drill some holes that will receive bolts that will hold it to the base of the jig. I want to put a piece of wood here that's going to act as a stop for the blade, so I got to mark where that should go. I have to turn the blade inside out here so that it'll sit on the jig correctly. So I have the blade clamped in place exactly where I want it to be as the cutting wheel engages it. You want to have that cutting wheel just barely kiss the tooth as it makes its cut. I have to make two adjustments here. I have to make this indexer hold it in just the right spot. And I also have to adjust the depth of cut that this wheel makes. certainly feels a lot sharper. Let's look at it under a magnifying glass and see how it looks. So this is very tough for me to capture with this camera, but I'll describe to you what I'm looking for. For this, for this part of the blade, 
I can see that it's ground it's ground the metal shiny all the way out to the point and that's what we want we have to grind all the way to the point in order for this sharpening to have had any effect on it what I found is for about half the teeth it's not polished all the way to the tip which means I haven't uh, sharpened it aggressively enough I have to make another pass through and make the bite a little bit deeper this time Now bear in mind this is a Harbor Freight tool so it's not built to tight tolerances. There's going to be a lot of wiggle and slop. You might find that you have to jiggle it or force it one way before the grinder will uh, engage with the metal. Bear in mind, before this sharpening, this blade wouldn't cut at all. I had to lean on it with all my weight just to get it to cut it at all. That looked pretty good. Let's give it something a little tougher, like a six inch piece of hardwood. I'm pretty tickled about this. You can see it cut through six inches of hardwood fairly quickly, kind of much through it. There's really no evidence of blade drift. Made a pretty straight cut. I consider this a success. One concern I have is that the way that this works leaves your teeth looking a little bit like this. Has this little it leaves this little step right here and that could interfere with your saw wanting to kick the chip out um, for this run through I didn't have that problem but if I did find I had a problem there's an easy solution you could take any kind of Dremel type tool and use a cylindrical cutter on it and get in there and remove that little step it wouldn't take long. You could do it while the blade is still mounted on the saw. And it doesn't have to be terribly precise. You know, as long as that's rounded off, the chip will kick out of there. Uh, but like I said, the way it is now, it's not hurting anything. So I'm going to wait till it does affect it before I do anything about it. Well, for those of you that already own a Harbor Freight saw sharpener, maybe I just showed you a new use you have for it.